Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to print our data on serial terminal with the help of PIC microcontroller. The simulator which we are using is the SimulID 1.1.0. So now first of all, we have to search for our microcontroller. So we can go down here. And we, we can see that there are a lot of microcontrollers. And uh, we will open this 16F series, PIC 16F series. Now, here we have our microcontroller that is PIC 16F877. So we can click on it and drag it out like this. So now this is our microcontroller. Okay, now uh, first of all, we have to take uh, FX voltage power supply so that we can give supply on its enable pin uh, which is obviously this mclr master clear okay it this pin will act as the enable pin of the microcontroller so we have to give a logic one or positive five volt on this pin after this has been done we will take our serial terminal okay now there are two pins that is TX and RX. So we will just use RX. We will just connect our RX pin of the serial terminal with that of C6 pin of the microcontroller. Because CX is the serial transmitter pin of the PIC microcontroller. So in this way our data will move serially. And we just require this single uh, line, okay, for communication, serial communication. So now this is our hardware section and now we will go towards our coding. And here in Micro C Pick Pro, we have to open new project. And we will click on next. And you should have to install this Micro C Pick Pro. Okay, so you can use it uh, freely. Okay, here it is my project. So here we write serial underscore 009. And our microcontroller is PIC 16F877. Click on next and then click on finish. So our environment has been created for coding. Okay, now this is our wired main function. It will execute for one time and all the things must be inside this function. All the other functions. Okay, so here we will go and we will initialize our serial communication. So we have command that is uart1 dot in it. Now what is this? This is our serial communication function. So it is not dot, it is underscore in it. It is the initialization function of the serial port or serial terminal. We have to write uart1 underscore in it. And 9600 is the baud rate. Because uh, we have to declare the baud rate because it is the symbol per second rate. That we are transferring 9600 symbols per second. Okay, so. And we are not going into the complexity that how this function used to work. So now we will go to library manager. We can go to micro e libraries. Here you can see this is my uart library. So click on it, check it out, okay, and so our library is included now. So you want one underscore in it, and then we will declare a variable that is int a. After int a, we will write while one. Why it is so? Because we need at least at least one forever loop, so that we can see our data properly again and again. Okay, so this is int a. We have declared a variable in which we will store our value uh, and this value must be sent to our uh, UART, okay? So how we can send our value UART1 underscore write. Underscore write is a function and we will write A. That what, what is inside the A must be sent to the UART. Let's uh, say we have written A is equal to 200. So now 200 is stored inside this A because is equal to is the assigning operator. So this is equal to will actually insert this 200 to this variable A and then this variable A value must be sent to the serial port. 
so this is our thing after this has been done we write delay of 100 millisecond and 200 i like uh, 800 okay 800 milliseconds delay so after every 800 millisecond we will get our data print like this okay save it out okay they said what they said int a okay we have to declare int a above all these things uh, initialization must be done after variable declaration and now it is okay we need to run it out like this and then click on this sign okay and click on save here we write third and we will save it on desktop it, it, it will create hex file for us now our hex file has been created now we will go to our symbol id right click on the microcontroller go to load firmware on the desktop we will write third third dot hex and we can run it out and now we will enable it out and now we can see that our led is blinking and here you can see that our seal port is printing the ascii value so we can go and we will write decimal so now it is uh, printing 252 value okay where well, let me see clear the input wait we will go and we will write unsigned okay unsigned is good because our library is just porting 8-bit value so we have to write unsigned in time and hopefully it will we will save it out save yes and again go and load firmware and third again we are loading our file and one more thing yes i forgot we we have to write here 8 megahertz okay so now it will work properly so now you can see that it is working properly it is writing 100 here and now we will go and we will write here 200 200 okay and this is like this because for seal communication clock is very necessary so we will go and we will write it out like this so now oh, again it is saying 100 so we will double click on it reload hex head simulation start okay so now it is 200 it is printing the right value and one more thing that if you want to send some text then what, what i can do uh, we can simply write underscore text write text and it will send at least 8 bit text for us that is a b and if we want to write cd as well then we need to write here cd okay and then in the last i, I need to write uh, what's called as the space so like this okay so like this we can write three things like this a b c d n okay and like this so click on save third and all this again go to here uh, we will go and we will go for ascii I have cleared it out now I will run it out now they said a b a b okay just uh, two value okay so again go and here I will introduce a delay of 800 millisecond in all the values now you can see that we are getting a b c d and then 
the whole string like this so in this way you can print uh, the value like this so you can now print uh, if you want to print binary you can do it like this if you want to print some integer data or if you want to place or copy certain or, or if you want to send some string data on the serial port then you can uh, do the same so hopefully you got the concept that how you can send your data on the serial terminal of the pic 16f so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe